Yo, what's up, guys? Back. Jill over here making erotic noises. Alright, okay. Okay, Jill, let's go find the vaccine. Go up there. Let's go save my girlfriend. Uh, Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. So you guys, do you think a hospital is a safe place to hide at during a zombie? Apocalypse. Some first aid spray. What do you guys think, eh? I'm sure there's a lot of shit I can pick up around here. But here's the upside of being in a hospital during a zombie apocalypse. At least you get you can get like medical stuff to heal you if you're bitten. Assume you can get it in time. Okay, which direction do I head? Okay, that's where I came out from. Alright, this direction. Man, I wonder what kind of monsters I'm gonna come across here. I got one bullet left. One bullet? Okay, let me try and make this bullet count. What's that? What's that? What's the shadow? I don't got time for this. So much for making it count. Get shots only. Is that why I'm trying to get a soda? <laughs> trying to get a cool drink. Okay, you dead. Dead bitch died. <laughs> okay, let me check if he's dead. Okay, he's dead. That zombie was trying to get a cold drink. So I came out the reception. Right, okay, so I'll go left to right. Okay, there's a door here on the right. Let me just check what's on the left. Ah, good thing I checked. What's in here? Let's see. Let's open this goodie. This goodie bag. What's in this goodie bag? Oh shit. Need a lock. Need a lockpick. Ah, uh, Jill knows how to pick locks. Jill is infected. She's morphing into a zombie right now. Hot zombie. What the fuck was that? What was that?
my scene shit. Man, the atmosphere here is so creepy. The Charlie dog. So what happens if I get all the Charlie dolls? Because so far I haven't gotten nothing. Okay. Nothing else to pick. How do I get into this room? What's that? How do I get inside there? Okay, maybe I need to go around. Okay, tape player, isn't that a bit outdated? Who still plays tapes these days? Oh, who cares? Okay, how do I play it? Where's the play button? Okay, can't play it. Okay, I need to find a cassette. Cassette. I haven't said that word in a while. Oh yeah, it's 1998. Remember, Resident Evil 3 text was made in the year 1998, so it makes sense. Every day they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their delirium. So we have to put them in straight jackets and move them to the isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is bursting at the seams. The directors ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge. But what does he expect us to do? Wish him better? You don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading. Spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What is going on? Oh, I don't think you want to know the answer to that. Okay, let's check the left door. Simple lock. Okay. Let's go in front of me. Let me just check the left first. What's this? Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Seems we're supposed to go there anyways. Okay, I got all these curing health things, but why? I think it's because something hectic is about to happen, right? Damn it! Okay, nothing's behind me. Oh shit, reload. Oh! Okay,
Give some herbs. Give them weed. I'm sure as hell not all of them are dead. Let's check. You still alive? What about you? Oh, you still alive. Oh man, I love this game. that other room I wanted to enter earlier I think right let me increase the frame rate I think the graphics can get much better okay put on performance mode because my frame rate is like what 50 52 right now Nah, no, I mean, I can do like 90 frame rates per second. I don't know what, what frame rate is so low. Okay, why isn't it open? Steps of these. Is that a jump scare or something? I think I need to plug in my charger so that the frame rates can jump. Let me see what happens. Ah, jump 103 frame rates per second. Oh, okay, now I see it. So if I plug in my charger, if my, pl my laptop is uncharged, frame rates are, are like below 60, between 50 and 60. Now it's at like 111. That's what I'm talking about. Too cocky now. What? 
doomed to die. Handgun. Get my handgun on. Save my AR ammo. Let me explore the area a bit quickly. Okay, it's quite a big area. Maybe I can find the cassettes in here. Oh. Item box. Tap writer. Oh man, I love this relaxing piano music when you save. Number 20, mystery illness patients. Patients in isolating, isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis. Fever, muttering delirium, and signs of hyperpagia. Possible infection? Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Let's begin. Dr. Young has bitted while treating one of the patients. We disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our duty staff, it's all hands on deck now. We have got to contain this chaos. Bet you the nurse who wrote that is a Z as well. Tape recorder for now. Clear some space. Yeah. Pick it up and find the cassette. Stun grenade, flash grenade. Do I need this one out? Maybe she should. Who knows? One forty AM. Yeah, that's the time. Definitely be dead. Oh, back to the nightmare. Out of serenity into the horror. I just do this. Zombie. 
This is a grim scene. Okay. No, nothing. <sighs> oh. Need to find a lockpick. Victims apparently now are dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So if we've been up trying, those who are infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries from outside, screaming, but none of us will go out there because it will be the end of us. I can't believe you've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. 9 p.m. heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant and we were all left. I was warning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We were all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota. I'm sorry I failed you. Something's coming. Help. Damn. But they made it. Cards. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Until it is recovered, we will keep a spare key here in the office. Please stop by administration at the end of the shift to borrow it. Okay. So ID card is in the locker rooms. Personal lockers. Okay. Where did you say the lock was? Courtyard. ID cards are not to be taken off personal hospital grounds, blah blah blah. All employees must store the ID card in the personal lockers before returning home for the day. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have must have dropped it in the courtyard. Answer is okay. Where's the spare key? in the fridge no hey bro know where the spare key is okay I'm supposed to go to the courtyard where is the courtyard then Sick room, nurses room, testament room, linen room. Okay, there's four rooms to explore. The okay, courtyard is downstairs, this far. Okay, I've been here before. So, okay, first lift.
I ain't opening that for now. <laughs> Let me look around first. Safe. Oh gosh, not another safe. Tape of Dr. Peace. Was it just they took it? One of my patients saw Abbott remove something from a locker in the nurse's station and walked toward the treatment room. I trust they didn't look to the night shift. We just stay cool and keep doing the job. I don't care what the Dr. P is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't try to destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole. I know you get his name. Shit, I'm dead. Oh. Oh. Damn, should have used a stun grenade or something. Maybe I should stop using my pistol. I'm getting overwhelmed here. Okay, so I was here. All these dudes are dead. Save the game quickly. So we have to do that all over again. Okay, it's 1:50 a.m. right now. Okay, 2:30 a.m. I'm going to sleep, guys. Yeah, okay, I just came out this fucking room. Oh, this map can be confusing. Left, first left again. That's where the keys at. Let me see this the first time. Ah, exploring does bend, does help. Okay, let me just use up one of my herbs. Ah, there's the key. I 
so I don't know something's gonna jump out. Something's definitely gonna jump out, you know that. Okay, yellow means entrance. So now I gotta go all the way back up again now. What's this here? Was you go back to the third floor? Wait, the two floors? Okay. Let's go upstairs again. Straight ahead. I'm gonna save the game. Third door on the left. I'll go straight right here. Okay, turn right. What the fuck? What's going on here? This game is that you're always on edge. Zombies could pop out at any given time, and at the same time, you gotta look out for clues, look out for ammo, look out for health. And now, back into the nightmare. Now I know where I gotta go. Okay, what is this room? Now? It's not open. They didn't know who he was fucking with. Okay, the cop is gonna come out. Yep. We're waiting for you, bitch. Bitch. 
I guess I like thoroughly exploring a room before I move on. Okay, nothing in here. Wait, actually there is. Combination. Nope, I don't know what it is. So I think I gotta go back to the staff room, right? Okay, no, this is locked. Linen room is locked. So yeah, back to the staff room. Back to the lockers. This is why you should explore. Okay. Tape of Dr. B. Bernard. The treatment room. Where's the treatment room? Sick room. Treatment room. That's the one that's locked. Okay, 
stuff. Nothing in here, but a hat and a red Flash grenade. Oh shit. Okay, you got me there. Hey, you got me. <laughs> Save. What's gonna happen? I know something's gonna pop up. Whenever you find something new on Resident Evil, a monster always pops up unexpectedly. Yeah, I knew it. What the fuck is this? He's got an armored shell. If I can read that quickly enough. Okay, where am I now? Is this after, before or after I got the ship? I opened it. Okay, yeah. Okay, so, fuck that shit. I'm using a grenade. I'm using a freaking grenade. Equip. How do I equip this grenade? Yeah, I don't need that. Okay, cool. I told you monsters always pop up when you find something. Okay, so it's got an armored shell. You need to shoot it off and expose the sensitive fish. Jesus Christ! Oh, it's dead? That's it? Definitely saving after this. Oh man, I love 
dieses Piano. This is the same piano they had in the, the first Resident Evil on PS1. Okay, tape players there. Okay, one here in one, so just, just store it. Store the key. Herbs, her, yeah, I've got enough health, health pegs. Okay. Got one grenade left. And there's two of those things. And I'm heading directly towards them. Still need a log pick as well. Shit. Mix it up. Trying to pull a jump on me. Okay, I'm, I'm not going in there. That's what those monsters are, right? Oh, hell no. Hell no. It's locked in, boys. Simple lock. something in there
What? Oh, come on. Just one strike. No, we're not going to assist it. AKA easy mode. Did I get them both? Oh man, that would be so cool. Is the other one dead? Oh, she is! <laughs> Two for one. Two hunters with one grenade, man. She get a reward for that. Ooh, man, that was dope. I'm glad I got that on record. Ah, oh, shit. It's in the item box. in here nothing nothing at all what is that machine still no lock pick Fuck that. She's not following me, right? <sighs> I hate you right now. Hell no, I'm not gonna face that. Here we came downstairs, so I need to go back up, play the tape, get the freaking item box. Okay, but it's still on the same floor here. Maybe I'm ready to go up at all. Maybe if I put in the tape in the cassette, I can open the voice lock door. Yes! Should I rather take the long ride? I'd rather. <laughs> I'm going back up there, man. Hell no. What's this? What's this thing here I can pick up? So far away. Fuck it, I'm gonna fight that thing. No, I'm gonna fight that one. Should we stop being pussy? Okay. How do I go back up, anyways? Yeah.
I hate about this stun grenade. And blow the shit out of it. Fuck is that so? Sound. What is that sound? What's that creaking sound? Play this. Okay, so I take it down there to the audio recording voice lock door, I'm assuming. Since I can't play it now. Still don't have a lock pick, still don't have the combination to the safe. Oh well. Maybe what if what if I cheat guys? What if I just Google the combination? How far is the safe from here? Because I could find like a grenade launcher or something. Where's the safe? Grenade. That's what it took to bring down one. Shit, I wish reloading here could be improved. Reloading controls can definitely be improved a little bit. Where's the safe? Okay, right in ten. It's my left, okay. Hey guys, I'm gonna cheat, fuck it. I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna Google the safe combination. Hold on, let me pause the game. Fetch my phone. Let me pause the game and check it. Okay, I'm on my phone right now. Type in. Okay, let me just Resident Evil safe combination in the hospital. According to IGN, this safe can be found in the nurse's station room of the hospital. The mm -hmm. combination to open it is nine left, then three right. Nine left, three right. Okay. 
Nine left. Three right. What's in there? Dual magazine. Okay, how does that work? Rounds. Okay, cool. Yeah, sorry guys, I had to cheat. It's probably in the notes somewhere and I missed it or I forgot it. It's probably not some of the notes I picked up, the combination, but I probably forgot. Fuck it. Okay, gotta go to the first floor. And... Voice recorded door. Lab reception. Turn left and turn right. Okay. What's gonna happen? Jeez. Probably gonna come across a lot of the ghost things, hunters. to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. 
I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bed pen changing waste of a nursing degree. Whoa, wait, of course that's... I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond your comprehension. So stop wasting my time with your nosy questions. I... Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. You didn't read the documents, did you? No, I shredded them just like you asked. Good. Good. If that's all, you can go back to wiping your patient's ass. That's what they pay you for, right? And polish my shoes. Yes, sir. I bet you know a lot about polishing, don't you? Now fuck <laughs> off and don't say a word to anyone. Wow. What an absolute dickhead. Wow. What a douche. <laughs> exactly. Exactly what I was saying. Douchebag. Is this him? Bard. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? Dear Dr. Bart, it's my pleasure to call you and invite you to a banquet of the Tibetan at Central Hotel, where you will be exchanging a few points on Raccoon City's new special medical zone. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Thursday, September 10th, 1998, 6 p.m., the Orient Restaurant, Central Floor, Central Hotel, Second Floor. We will be honored if you joined us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Happy to note, Nate, I will be introducing the bill for that new job of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. You've booked the suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? <laughs> I'll let Irons know. Safe, however, you've always been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of vaccine for the virus, the holy grail, and it's not for my family, not for my ladies on the side, no, Greg. I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States. But if you want the goods, Greg, you have to go to get me the hell out of here. You gotta get me the hell out of here now that I'm praying for you. See if someone can get a risky team in here with the PCS involvement. You scratch my back as good as Shit, sound pretty chaste after the parties we've been to. <laughs> Hurry, my time right now. Okay. This is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray, by making this recording and bringing the truth to light, that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. Now, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... They don't want you to talk. 
but I want you to live. My God, Jill knew all along. And she trusted me anyway. Fuck! Okay. Is it here? We'll open the door. Yeah, here. Tap right in. Yeah. Makeshift signal. Okay, straight ahead. First right door.
You're gonna be okay, Jack. Tyrell, what the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Attention all citizens. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. You sit tight. I got this. Better grab some gear. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Yeah, it's a lot of health. Game. Anything else I can pick up? I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Thank you. 
Got a fucking shit show. Not about them.
got a clue. close but at least it's over I'm coming back oh damn that was hectic vaccine's a real deal good you going somewhere you're damn right what do you think you're gonna do whole city's about to be microwaved come on man call the government tell them we found a cure you stall for time Bozy motherfucker. So I'm gonna play as Joe. Ah, oh, so that's how I'll open all those blocked, those blocked pigs. Good news. It's over now. The city's safe. Survive if you remain in the October first. Evacuate now. 
Repeat. No. It can't be. Okay, dude, so I'll finish the game tomorrow. Uh, speed real. Fucking awesome game. I'm enjoying this. Okay, guys, peace.